Okay, chat box, chat. Okay, yeah, I've got a chat here. Okay, um, yeah, I am recording this webinar, guys, but I think we're officially good to go. So this webinar today is on choosing niches and knowing your profit margins with the pay per lead model. You see, a lot of the time um, across all of our, you know, bits of content and all our, our platforms and you know videos that we shoot, there's a lot of kind of questions that come in and. I think one of the biggest ones is knowing what uh, niches to go after. And another big one is what profit margins should I be looking at making when I'm selling leads? So I'm gonna give you some examples of what that looks like and how it will work for you so you can get off on the right foot if you're looking to you know, start charging clients on a pay per lead basis. So it's very practical stuff. Um, of course, at the end of the webinar, I'm going to, um, offer you a call with me to see if you want to come on and, and um, you know, fast track your process. If you want to, if you want help building your pay per lead agency, then of course you can always chat to me and I'll give you a link to do that at the end. But the main point of these webinars really is to help um, educate people um, and set them off on the right track if they're trying to do them, do this themselves. Okay. So I hope that makes sense for, for those of you who are just turning up now. Um, the Q and A's at the end, type your, your questions in the chat box and I will, um, I'll get to them at the end. Uh, and yes, we are recording this webinar. So you'll be able to watch it again if you have to leave early or whatever. Okay. So, um, we're good to go, as I said, but please do focus, um, on what I'm talking about here because, um, too often we get distracted with our smartphones and switching to other, you know, social media or, you know, text messaging or WhatsApp or whatever. So turn off everything that's going to distract you. It's not going to take long. Okay. Close the door and give yourself just this gift of time to discover some new strategies. Okay. There's no point doing this half hour. You've, you've put aside an hour or whatever it is. You might as well listen in and take in some of this valuable, um, information. Um, it's not going to be a long webinar. Um, questions and answers in the Q and A box. Um, and yeah, all right, let's get started. So a little bit about myself, for those of you who don't know me, um, my name's Dan Wardrope and I own wouldn't it, now three pay per lead agencies. Uh, one of them in the UK, one of them in Canada and recently, well, I've been a bit cheeky and put it up there, but it, it hasn't officially been announced, but we're just going through the shareholders agreement at the moment for Flex Asia. Um, and I also run an education program um, that many of you know about, which is teaching people how to start their own pay per lead agency. Um, so I think the, f the fact, um, well, what I'm trying to say here is that I'm not someone that's not running um, ads and doing stuff in the pay per lead space themselves. I'm not just teaching it, if, if you know what I mean. In fact, since I la launched this course uh, about 12 months ago, this education program, I've started up two new agencies, one in Canada and now the one in Asia, which is based out of Sri Lanka. So, you know, there's, a, you know, I'm doing well selling leads and I'm in that space on a daily basis. So the stuff I'm teaching here is the stuff we're doing within our own agencies, which is working great guns. Okay. So I just thought I'd let you know that, but my story is that, um, you know, and, and this might be familiar to a few of you people. Um, so I started off as a chemical engineer and believe it or not, I was designing sewage treatment plants. Um, so I finished university. I was decent at maths and science and I became a chemical engineer. And before I knew it, I was walking around sewage treatment plants, um, designing tanks and things like that and pumps. And um, I kind of didn't know how I got into that space. It was just <laughs> pretty horrific, really. But I hated, I hated my job. I did from the start and I tried everything to get out of it. So first, the first thing for me back, you know, pre-2009, I was, you know, credit was good. I had a job and I was able to, you know, leverage myself pretty highly and buy some property. Um, and that didn't work out. In fact, I was terrible at it. I just wanted to put as little money down as I could and it turned into a real um, disaster, really. Um, so on top of that, I tried to sell pot plants from cub, pub car parks and I was convinced this is what my way out of the rat race. And then I typed make money online in 2009 into Google. And uh, I started doing affiliate marketing and I sucked at that. I used to sell um, iPhone insurance um, to a company and get 50% commission. 
Um, and then I started an SEO agency and I also sucked at that. My business partner um, screwed me over and uh, that was a failed venture. Um, and then I started up on my own and ventured into kind of paid traffic in 2015. And I started selling leads in, in 2016 and my life was, was changed forever. But the fact is that, you know, my journey up until 2016 has not been much different to most agency owners I speak to. And trust me, I've spe spoken to like over 300 in the last six months or so. And the struggle is real. Um, I feel you guys, I've been there and done that and I've experienced it. And you should not feel like I'm the life, you know, that I've built with pay per lead and, you know, the success that we've had is unattainable because I was that guy as well. I used to always think back in the day that these people were having, you know, big success were um, just super smart or super brainy or whatever. And that's, it's not really the case. You need, you need a little bit of luck being at the right time at the right place and following a kind of a model that works. Um, so yeah, it's, don't feel daunted by this. The, that success can be with you guys um, relatively quickly if you just make some good decision and, and have a bit of luck. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about the best industries that have um, five-figure ad budgets to spend per week. And then I'm going to tell you how to land these clients. We're going to talk about the simple formula to finding out a cost per lead. So once you land these clients and you're ready to sell them leads, how much to charge? And this formula has never really failed me. Um, then we're going to talk about um, your profit margins that you should look that you should be looking at making as a bare minimum. Okay, um, there's a bit of a mistake there. How to segment your leads and sell them to multiple clients? I actually haven't got that in this slide deck, but we'll talk a little bit about that towards the end. Um, and um, towards the end, well, I think that the link's probably in the chat box already. Is our direct mail letter template? So this is where we send. Um, this is the letter template we send out to clients in the verticals we're going after. All right, and this is an amazing letter um, and it works like gangbusters. So make sure you use it. It's a very, very valuable old school kind of snail mail direct response letter, which just kills it. Okay, so first of all, this one might surprise you, but the best industries to target, um, and I know this because I speak to a lot of agencies that are all running, already running ads. First, look at what you know and what you have experience in. I don't know if you guys can read that screenshot here, but one of our, our students, um, he got his first client. Uh, this is about a month after he came on to our, um, our program. He got his first client and that committed to 100 leads at $3,550 uh, $350 each. He's looking to see if anyone has experience with legal, the legal industry, especially personal injury. So this guy was already doing work for solicitors in the States and he decided to approach one of them and charge $350 per lead. And this is a hundred leads delivered over a week. So he, he went from working on a, you know, retainer basis. He, yeah, fair enough. He was doing well, but he was able to charge 35 grand a week by selling leads in this space. Okay. A hundred times 350 is 35 grand. All right. So, this is a guy that came in with no experience, but no experience selling leads to other businesses, but he also already had experience doing, you know, AdWords and Facebook for this industry. So first of all, look at what you know and what you have experience in. Okay. Cause that's the safest and fastest way to start. Um, and this could be you. So you're running ads on a retainer um, and a typical, agency looks like this, this these days. Okay. So you're charging a monthly fee. Um, your client is paying for their ads and you just get paid a f pretty much a flat rate. It does change in some instances, but not always. Um, so that could be you and look at the positives and negatives of your situation. Okay. Because if you are looking at moving towards pay per lead, then you need to, look, you don't, you don't want to be compromising what's working for you at the moment. Okay. And by positives, I mean that you're going to have clients and you know how to get leads for these clients and you know how much those leads are. 
And the negatives are that you're not getting paid enough for your expertise. There's so many people I chat to that are really, really good at what they do and they feel undervalued because first of all, they're getting great results for their clients, but you know, those leads might not be getting worked properly. Um, or you're trying to make changes to a landing page, which is going to halve your conversion costs, but they, they're just not ready to make those changes or they have to go through six IT departments to make a small change to a headline, for example. And this is an example of a situation where you could be in that you can, you can like move a little bit away from, not, from what's not working to what's working. So have a look at what Intel you do have. So let's say you're running ads for um, a car finance company in AdWords. How much are you spending? How much is the cost per lead in that space? Okay, whether it be Facebook or AdWords, it doesn't really matter. You've got Intel that most people would kill for. You've got Intel on what the contact rates are. You've got Intel on what they're converting at. Okay. And this could be any, you know, decent industry that you're going into. All right. As long as you've got experience in it, it it's going to help you. So don't risk the income you have coming in. Okay. When I first started, it would be stupid for me to try and, you know, the 5k that I had or 4k a month or whatever that was coming in. Don't risk that. Don't, approach them just yet okay start sending like use the intel that you have and start sending out the letter that i've given you in this um, webinar and send out letters to the competitor competitors okay well you've already got a link to this letter which is a fill in the blank type letter and i suggest you guys have a look at that in a minute and then when you get some responses it's going to give you a kick to build them a lead generation campaign okay you guys, a lot of people are just kind of trudging along in their same kind of comfort zone, all right? And we've found, and I always teach this, is that if you're ready to get into pay per lead and create a serious business, take some action with sales, okay? Take some action with sales and that will make a big difference because once you start getting some positive responses, you're going to get a new lease of life and you're going to be able to build them some stuff. Um, you know, with our help, we've got the paper, paper lead ninjas group and we'll be able to help you in that, in that case. All right. But what have you, if you don't have any Intel, okay. What happens if you're, you know, you know, you're only working with, you know, a local real estate agent that hasn't got too much scope for growth. I and mean, there's answers to that, but there's some really poor industries like restaurants or something like that aren't really good for pay, the pay per lead model. So um, there's a link here, which has also been put in the, the chat box. If, you, if you're just scribbling it down, then you can, you can um, just copy what's after the last backslash. All right, I know it's not perfect, but it is what it is. So these are a list of, of industries that we're in or we've worked in that are all five figure per week industries. But the best industries are where people get something for nothing, if that makes sense. So um, let's say, for example, um, what is the, sorry, Sebastian's asking what the link is to the um, fill in the blank letter. It should be in this chat box somewhere. If Graham, if you're listening, can you just chuck it into Sebastian? Um, so the best niches are the something for nothing one. So um, for example, some of our students are working in the, ta the tax um, debts, not tax debt, but the tax. Uh, so business owners that in the States that have got a large tax bill can reconcile and um, get a rebate on some of this tax that they thought they would have to pay. And they might have a hundred K tax bill that they've got to pay. And there's some smart um, lawyers or people with kind of loopholes that know how to, you know, basically get 75% of that tax back. All right. That's just an example. Um, other industries, um, you know, a big one over here, it's hot weather, it's the summer um, holidays at the moment, and there's a lot of flight delays and basically people are due compensation from the airlines. So there's companies that handle all of those packages um, and uh, they package the case up and then people get paid back from the airlines and the companies take, you know, a percentage of the, of the fee. And, and these are great industries because, you know, on Facebook or Google or whatever, people have got nothing to lose by putting their details in. Okay. It's, it's not like they're going to get cold and hassled. There's only a plus side. They're going to get something for nothing and they don't care because they've, you know, 
the best case is they uh, get a, a lump sum back. The worst case is nothing. All right. And these are great for Facebook and um, lead gen campaigns. And there's plenty and plenty and plenty of companies out there that will buy these leads as many as you can get them. I'm not kidding you. Okay. Um, the other one is go to a, a trashy online newspaper and look at the Taboola Outbrain ads. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the ads below the articles um, in like the Sun or the Telegraph or the Daily Mirror or, play, or newspapers. Um, there's equivalents in the US and other countries, I'm sure. But there's little sponsored stories behind um, below the articles and there's usually some massive lead gen niches being advertised there. They're really um, profitable and um, they're great to get into. And also go to offervault.com and go to the pay per call tab on the home page. All right. Offervault.com is a CPA network. Um, and the pay per call tab on there tells you the type of industries that are willing to pay per call. Don't be concerned. These guys, these industries and verticals will buy web leads too. But I was having a look in there the other day and all these verticals are amazing. So, you know, if OfferVault's got them up there, you have the ability to approach these companies direct with um, the letters that I said, that have downloaded in this webinar. So you can go direct with them and cut out OfferVault, for example. Okay, because these guys take a large chunk and it just never really works. Um, look for a broad niche and then try and find a niche within a niche. So I've got a link to my video as well, which explains what a niche within a niche with is. So if you go after something like life insurance, then you don't want to be going trying to create, you know, broad life insurance leads. You want to be able to go after, you know, a small segment of this massive market. So it could be, you know, uh, a marine, I don't know, like people that have been in the army, for example, in America, they get special rates um, and, you know, when you're able to talk to these people in your advertising copy, then it's easy to get leads and no one really does this. Okay. So it's better to focus in on a small niche within the broad, the broad campaigns. It's much easier to get leads. Okay. And as I said, when you get some responses, it'll give you a kick to build them a lead gen, cam lead gen campaign. There's nothing that motivates me more when a big client gets in touch, you're going to figure out how to work it out. Okay. All right, how to land clients. Okay, so no magic formula, but a strong, a strong offer times kissing a lot of frogs equals lots of clients. And by strong offer, I mean this, 100 leads. M you know, many of you might have heard this before um, as my kind of catch line to land, land clients. But if you offer them 100 leads, it's much easier than trying to sell them a six month retainer contract with monthly reports and SEO and Google Analytics and all that crap. These people just want leads, okay? And if you're able to offer to that, that to them, they, they listen, okay? And you'll get your foot in the door. And yeah, some of them will just fob you off because they've had other people offer them the same thing. But there's so many companies out there. There's so many industries. It's just not funny. And by kissing a lot of frogs, it just means that you need to reach out a lot of times. Okay. Send that letter out to 50 companies a week. It's only going to cost you a hundred bucks, even less. Okay. And connect with all of these people on LinkedIn. It's just about doing sales. Do a little bit of sales every week with that strong offer, multiplied with that strong offer and you will get lots of clients guaranteed. Okay. And if you're worried about lack of experience in case studies in this industry, which I'm, a lot of people are, then choose your vertical and get started. Use the Paper Lead Ninja Group um, if you haven't joined already. Um, if someone's listening from my team, can you put a link in there, guys? Um, join the group and ask and we'll help you choose some, okay? The next thing you have to do is change your LinkedIn profile to match your vertical. Okay. So if you're selling leads, I use car finance all the time as, a, as an example, we're not in that industry, but change your LinkedIn profile to be the expert in selling car finance leads. Change the direction of your business because when you reach out to people, they're going to see your profile and they're going to see that you're, you know, if you reach out to a car finance company and they see that you're an expert in generating car finance lead, you're immediately going to put yourself in the top 5% of people 
that they want to take, talk to rather than some generic AdWords agency or SEO company. Okay. Not many people know this simple trick. It makes sense. All right. Then change your website or agency website specialize to specialize in the industry that you're going after. Okay. Create a new one. If you have to, there's so many really cheap, um, you know, landing page builders, click funnels, unbounce. We use unbounce heavily, you know, don't, don't even change it. Create an agency website that specialized in that industry. How much do you want this guys? I mean, if you're really serious about it, you need to make changes like this quickly in order to, to get the ball rolling. Okay. It doesn't take long to create an agency website using these funnel building softwares. It's a piece of cake. In fact, flexible, our website flex digital is all built on, um, unbounce and um, there's you know we didn't pay anyone for it we just built it ourselves in house and we haven't got a code a coder a coding expert at all so it's easily done and it's cheap and then you start doing cold out outreach via LinkedIn um, use some Upwork to scrape the business addresses someone on Upwork um, there's plenty of people out there that'll do it for you find the, uh, the addresses find the director and then send letters out so hit them up on LinkedIn and then letters and using this technique, 95% uh, of our students land clients in two weeks using this method, okay? Um, Paul's just said he's lost audio. Has anyone else lost audio? Nope, okay, Derek's fine. Mordo is fine, okay, sounds good. Thanks guys, okay. And you know, Back when I was talking about, you know, what I was doing before I, I started my having success with paper lead, you know, I wasn't doing this. All right. And when I started doing this, exactly what I've said in those four or five bullet points on the previous slide, it changed everything for me. Remember, I was the guy that was selling pot plants and designing sewage treatment plants. It's not, I wasn't someone that was born gifted. When you start doing what I've explained above and continue doing it for a minimum of two months, I promise you that you'll be in a different place financially and emotionally because sales makes the world go round. Okay. So the next thing, how much to charge? And this is a simple formula. Okay. Once you've landed that client and it goes like this, the truth is every industry is different and there's no one size fits all answer. However, this formula works pretty well. What is the average order value of the customer? E.g. a converted client, could be you know three three thousand pounds. I'm using pounds here, by the way. I know there's a lot of people in the states and Australia, and New Zealand and Canada and all that. But um, three thousand pounds is or three thousand dollars, whatever you want to use. All right. So that's how much that a converted customer is worth to that business lifetime value. Ask your client for this information, and then divide that number by three. Three thousand divided by three is one thousand. And then multiply a thousand by 5%. What's 5% of a thousand is 50 pounds or $50. That's roughly what you can charge per lead, if that makes sense. And you can try, um, what, what's the three for? Um, that's just roughly what we use that works. It comes from experience. Okay. Um, and there's a more detailed explanation in the blog post, which is mentioned just here. All right. And, you know, the thing is that, um, you know, your client's going to tell you if you're, if you're way over what they're ready to, ready to pay or willing to pay. Okay. But if they get a, a lot of the times people get a yes without flinching. In fact, within my mastermind group, I hear this all the time. They charge 50 bucks a lead and they're just like, they said yes without flinching. That means you're not charging enough. Okay. And you'll fit, that's fine, but you'll figure it out in the long run if you stay in that vertical. How much profit? Again, a simple formula. So it goes like this. If it's a high volume lead generation campaign and you're paid 30 pounds or less per lead, you want to be, gen you want to be generating the leads for 50% or less of what you're getting paid. So for example, um, okay, Mike's just asking for the formula link. Um, someone will put that in for you. Example, 2000 leads um, uh, at 20 pounds per lead. Okay, I'm just using this as an example, is 4K per week in income and you want to be generating the leads for 10 pounds or less, which means you are making 2K per week gross profit. All right. And for the lower volume game, but higher CP, CPL, 
So for example, 30 pounds or more, but usually 50 pounds plus per lead, you want to be generating the leads for a third of what you're getting paid. Okay. Lower volume, you need to make higher margin. So example, 75 leads a week at 75 pounds per lead equals just over five and a half grand per week in income. And you want to be generating the leads for 25 pounds or less, which is roughly a third, which means you are making 3,750 per week gross profit. Okay. And Alex, yes, we charge up front for our leads. Um, and there's a lot of kind of maths, simple maths, but hopefully you guys can wrap your head around this. Okay. It's very easy when you think about it. Okay. If it's high volume game, you need to be generating the leads for half. If it's a lower volume game, charge more and try and generate the leads for a third. For example, we just onboarded a new client this week. They're paying a hundred pounds per lead. And I just looked in, uh, they, we're sending them a hundred leads a week and we're generating the leads for about 30 pounds a lead this week. Okay. So that's 70 pounds profit per lead. Um, and it's, you know, fairly profitable when you get it right. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Um, Rehan's asking if you charge for the hundred leads as part of the, the intro offer. Yeah. So you want to be, the intro offer is the hundred leads. What billing software, we just do it manually. Manual invoicing via zero, via zero accounting package. Easy, nothing fancy. No credit card payments, no, no, no nothing. Okay. So more maths for you, okay? But I want to give you a picture of what it should look like when you get up and running. So let's say you land seven clients using the figures mentioned above, a mixture of high and low volume, and roughly a 5K turnover per client per week. That's 35K per week, 140K per month, or 1.54 million per year if you take December off, okay? I went through these stats. I'm pretty sure they're right. This is just typically what it should look like for you. So your ad spend is roughly going to be around 50% of what you're, um, you're turning over, which is about 770K a year, which means you should be making a gross profit per month of 70,000. And the overheads, depending on the size of a team, should be around 15% of this figure, okay? For me, it's more, I have a larger team um, and we're doing all the flexible stuff as well, but you can get away with having relatively low overheads in this game because you've only got seven clients, okay? Sometimes these clients are being run through the same lead generation website, so you have a lot less to worry about, okay? Um, all right, just a few questions that are coming in. Uh, I'll answer them later, guys. Um, so the net profit of around 60K per month, 655,000 a year for 11 months because in December, most people shut down their offices and go on holiday. And then you pay the tax man. And I ca cannot um, give you guys advice, obviously, but the idea at this point in time is to max out your pension because the tax is a killer. A nice little bonus. Um, <laughs> this is a photo of my ugly brother. Um, I just got back from Hong Kong and I flew him, my brother and my dad, my brother and my dad live in Australia. Me and Hugh live in the UK and I flew us all over. Um, Hugh and I went business class. The other guys were, uh, so Hugh and I went first class. This is the first class lounge at, at Concord. Um, and my brother and his dad flew business class. No, actually, no, I put my little other little brother in economy because, you know, why would you pay for business class? And my dad went to our business class and I paid for all of that through points. Okay. Because we generate millions, millions of points per year. And it's a massive bonus that many people don't know about the pay per lead game. It's pretty cool. We use Amex for all of our transactions. Okay. But these kind of numbers might feel unattainable, but there's a story from, um, uh, Craig, he's, he's, uh, joined our, our program. And when he started working with me, he was an uphill battle convincing, you know, clients, cold clients to take him on a monthly retainer model. He also found that retainer contracts stopped him from being paid what he's worth. And within six weeks into the program, Craig was making 10 times the profit that he did before. And he messaged me on Facebook the other day to, to tell me that he turned down a 30 K per month retainer as he was making more selling the leads. Okay. They wanted to, him to go exclusive and he turned it down because there was multiple clients in that industry. 
Um, Matthew Tenney, another student within three weeks, he was learning clients and he was making 1K in profits per day, seven days a week using these, these methods. Okay. And um, this is a recent one as well. A uh, guy called Gavin Thorne um, who joined our program, I think it was January and he's selling leads in um, the personal injury space in the UK and he's approaching six figures sterling per month in profit. Okay, he's well over half, halfway there. And this is a guy that came in with, you know, zero experience, um, didn't know much about running ads. And, you know, he was, he's a smart guy and he knows about sales and all that kind of stuff. But um, he came down to my house, that's my backyard there. And we just had a chat for about an hour um, about his journey, what it looked like. He went into, I think, equity or release as his first industry, couldn't make it work, shifted to personal injury and his, his business took off like a rocket. Okay. And he, he's teaming up with other guys in my group and they're going into the States now and Canada and the world's their oyster really, because he has a funnel and a formula that works. Um, Ryan, I was just saying the little brother always gets screwed. Yeah. I was like bugging him. I'm not paying for him business class. So, um, yeah, so watch that, like if you, it's an hour guys, like I know you guys are all busy, but have a look at that video, all right? And, and you'll love it because it just goes through his whole process from start to finish and there's nuggets of gold in there. All right, let me see if I can post it. Two secs. There we go, that worked, bloody hell. I'm good with technology after all. Okay, so it's time for you to get started now, guys. All right, as I said, this is half an hour webinar, no more. The letter we send out, there's a link to it just there. Let me post it in the chat box again. Um, download that, choose your vertical or niche, get a client and figure it out as you go. Okay, what are you waiting for? Um, we've got our paper lead ninjas group. Um, I think Ariana just posted in there a little while back and shout out about your success as well as ask for help. Okay. And if you need my personal help and you want to fast track um, your success, then there's a link to book a call with me here. Okay. Um, you know, I'll do my best. I've got a, obviously a sales team as well and they take the majority of the phone calls but i will do my best to speak to you individually um, if you want to have a chat and see whether this is a good fit for you okay um so that's my little sell at the end of the webinar there so come and have a chat to me if you want to fast track if not no drama i hope you've got value from this webinar okay all right so now over to the q a i'm going to scroll through some of these. Well, actually, guys, it's just best if you um, just type in here your questions and I'll go through them one by one. So Tariq, are these students producing leads purely on social media? Is this something they're taught or does your team manage this? Um, they're producing leads, lead. uh, Gavin Thorne, for example, is purely from Facebook. Um, this is something we teach and our team does not manage that for them at all. But within my program, we'll, we'll review all of your ads, we'll review all of your copy, we'll uh, help you out and set you on the right track if we see something wrong. Okay, SC. In doing lead gen for universities, colleges, uh, doable, yes, 100%. We've got people doing that. It's a big industry um, and they've, they're very hungry for new students because a new student is worth a lot of money. Okay, in fact, um, one of my friends in the UK actually works for one of these companies that place students, I think Spanish students into UK universities. And that company is listed on the um, stock exchange. I mean, it's a serious industry. Ben A, sometimes you won't make profit because you won't find a good angle. How do you handle this? Do you just say goodbye to the client? Um, no, okay. So a lot of the times you create an ad that doesn't work and doesn't um, make you money, okay? Most of the times you will not lose money, but if you don't find the right angle, you have to find another angle. And that's why in our program, we, we 
um, teach coming up with four angles before we get started, okay? So if it's a car finance client, the first angle might be low interest. The second angle might be, um, you know, specific to new uh, secondhand car buyers. The third one might be um, no money down. You need very different angles on Facebook to see what works. So start with four, okay? Facebook's becoming super tough for advertisers. Do you teach other platforms for traffic? Um, well, people always say that Facebook's getting tough. It's getting expensive. The algorithms aren't working, you know, all that kind of stuff. I've been hearing this for four years um, and we're still doing 90% of our traffic on Facebook and um, our cost per lead hasn't gone up in our, in our biggest verticals. It's getting tougher and, and um, you know, more competitive, but there is, uh, you know, there's still a massive amount of scope there. Um, we do YouTube um, pre-roll ads as well, which I'm excited about, but we don't teach that in our program, but it, it is coming soon. Okay, definitely coming soon. Alex, what happens if clients ask about the quality of the leads? They always ask about the quality of the leads. In fact, they will stop buying if the quality is not good. So you have to be able to produce quality leads. And that's why we have, you know, a number of tricks up our sleeve. Um, you know, for example, sometimes we use an advertorial. Sometimes we use quizzes. Um, we need people to go through a lot of hoops in order to become a lead. If it's just add to a landing page, they're just crap quality or a lead ad. Most times they're crap quality. Okay. You have to be able to create longer funnels with segmentation and stuff like that to be able to make it work. Um, Jim, for those without any experience generating leads in Facebook, do you make, recommend offering any kind of risk reversal guarantee as part of their initial offer? Yes. So Jim, sometimes when I first started out, um, I worked out a hybrid deal with a client where they paid for the ad spend and we were given a commission on each sale that we made. Okay. So that actually turned out to be lucrative and we still do this with some clients. Okay. Um, and that way you get to learn on other people's money. It's called, we call it the hybrid deal. Steve, how do you generate your leads for multiple clients from ads and funnels with your chosen branding or do you use the client's branding per campaign? Great question, mate. Both is the answer. So we have lead gen sites, brands, which Facebook love. We distribute to five or six clients from that one space. Um, other industries like the claims industry that I was talking about before um, is purely you have to advertise on a one-to-one -one basis and we install Unbounce on their um, website as a subdomain, if that makes sense. Rosario, do we put the money in for the ads up front? Yes, but you get paid up front. Okay, so they'll pay you um, in a week. They'll pay you a week in advance. You run the ads and then it comes out of your credit card bill about 30 days later. So it's a nice way to get some cash flow as well. Um, Dan, is there a particular service area business niche you would recommend as I can talk that lingo and I'm currently doing SEO for that niche? Um, yeah, so some of our students are doing really well um, with kind of local services that have a national appeal. So it could be um, uh, like roofing or solar panels or, um, uh, you know, ones like that. Uh, for example, one of our students is doing really well selling um, leads for spa installations. Okay, Jeez, lots of questions coming in. Um, yeah, Dan, there's plenty of scope there. I just need to um, speak a little bit more about that. Paul, is there a minimum AOV that works with a new client? Yeah, another great question. Um, so probably about $1,000, I would say, between $1,000 and $1,500. It depends how easy the leads are to get. But I wouldn't go much lower than that, really. Okay. How much does the program cost? Depends on your situation. Um, Let's have a chat if you want to talk about that. Um, are there issues with leads handling on the client's side? Do you make sure that they are making the most of the leads? Another great question, Ben. Um, yes. So you'll quickly find out if the clients that are taking your leads know what they're doing. If they're not being called within five seconds of them coming in, if they don't have dialers and stuff like that set up, they're not going to make it work. Really tough. Okay. So you need to find clients that know what they're doing. We do have some solutions to that though, um, but that's for another day. Would this work for private UK dentists selling dental implants? Um, 
People often ask this, and I'm actually running a campaign at the moment where we're starting one for a plastic surgeon, okay? Selling high value, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, body contouring um, and mummy makeovers and things like that. And it will work because the value is so high but you're going to have to work at a hybrid model. So it's kind of sell per lead, but also get paid a lump sum on conversion. Okay. So it's a little bit different because you're limited by the number of patients that that, that, that doctor can handle or that dentist can handle, which makes it tricky. I would say in most cases, it's probably a no, unless you find a, a national company that's just able to distribute these leads to a, you know, a hundred different dentists over that country. Right, Rawson, is there a link to the program for all the details? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, there is actually. I'll get someone in the team to put it in there from, um, from out. It's hidden in my site somewhere. Um, Ron, if you don't generate the number of leads you sell, do you rebate or tell a client you'll make up the difference? Yeah, so you've got to remember that most of the time these clients are looking for um, – are looking for a partner that's able to give them great leads for a long period of time. Okay. So they're usually willing to work with you because us as lead generators, you know, I could go into five or six different industries if something doesn't work. Okay. We're flexible. These guys have, you know, remortgaged their house and built and built, tried to build a business in that one vertical that needs to work for them. Okay. Their kids education is on the line here. Okay, so they've got to make it work. They're desperate to find someone like you that can supply leads to their business consistently and they are willing to look after you. Okay. Um, step it. I don't know the pronunciation there. How do you create leads on Facebook? Which approach are you taking? Facebook leads. We don't use lead ads. We use ad to quiz or ad to advertorial or, yeah, either one of those two really. Nadeem. Dan, you have given away the golden keys to the business. Freaking hell, have I seen this webinar before signing up for Flexible? I may have never signed up. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Travis, have you run lead gen ads on LinkedIn? We've started trying this actually, Travis, because uh, Reid Hoffman owns LinkedIn and he was one of the early investors in Facebook. So, um, yeah, we have to limited success so far. But in, in my opinion, LinkedIn is going to follow and it's going to be amazing for advertising but we're yet to crack it. Lloyd, any general advice for scaling? <sighs> Jeez, that's a tough question, a very generic question. Um, get more clients and figure it out as you go. Okay, there's plenty of people out there that can run Facebook ads. There's plenty of people out there that can build funnels. Um, you just need to get the clients and figure it out as you go. I know that's probably not what you want to hear, but there's no magical answer. You need to prepare your business and that's a whole nother um, conversation. Rehan, have you approached AdWords advertisers like banks or insurance agencies and pitched them on a lead gen offer? Yes, we have. Have you done B2B lead generation? Um, no, no, but plenty of people in our group have, okay? Because there's plenty of uh, financial products and insurance things out there for um, small business owners, offers for small business owners, and there's millions of them in each country. So B2B will work. It just has to be the right offer. For example, the tax write-off one that I was talking about um, or rebates and that kind of stuff is, is really, uh, really powerful for B2B. Familiar with how to run ads, however, your program is suited for beginners. Um, I would say it's a little bit more suited for uh, kind of intermediate people. If you know how to run ads and you've got a foot in the door, like I was talking about with offers or verticals, then um, yes. It works for people like that, but complete newbies. It's not really for you guys. I'm sorry. Paul, that's what I do. The hybrid deal. Good, good man. Rosario, why would they pay for ad spend on top of a commission to you? Uh, because there's enough money in their offer to be able to do that. Um, do you sell same leads more than one client? We don't but there's a, that, that's common, okay? One thing we probably should do, although I don't, is offer exclusivity on the leads for 30 days and then sell them to a second, per, um, second party for like a few dollars per lead after the 30-day period and people snap them up, okay? Um, 
how do you deal with Facebook allowing clients and competitors to view your campaigns via the page transparency feature? Do you use your company's fan page? Are you concerned about this at all? Is there a way to hide this? Another good question, Eric. Um, there's no real way to hide it, okay? But, you know, the way that we set up our campaigns, um, they don't know what ads are working. Um, then, you know, there's a risk that people are gonna come in and steal your stuff, but there's that's just a risk we're willing to take. And most of the time, these companies are focused on, um, you know, making money and closing the leads rather than trying to rip off their age, their, you know, their golden ticket, their golden goose, which is what we are in most instances. Would alarm systems work? Yes, they would. Tara, how much would it be if I wanted to be coached by you or your team or in a social media agency, but I'm underpaid, I'm being paid 500 a month for retainer, how can I convert them to PPL? I'm getting paid around seven pounds for solicitors. Okay, yeah, we have, um, I've got a coaching link on my website, Flexible. Um, it's not cheap. But um, if you want some personal coaching, then Tara, I can help you. But it sounds like you're being underpaid massively. Jason, how do you deliver your leads to the client? Uh, API, um, webhook via um, Unbounce into the CRM system. Do you use text message marketing in your funnels? Um, yes, sometimes. Most of the time, the clients we supply the leads to are really good at closing the leads and they have their own email automations and text messages and follow-ups that go with that. So we don't have to. But for lesser companies that aren't as good, then yes, it's very powerful and we do do that. Andy, do you try to figure out how to get the leads for a particular niche before you start trying to sell them to the clients? Um, we reverse engineer competitors. So if it's a niche that's doing lead generation, we go to adgenius.xyz or we go to the Facebook transparency tool and find what ads are running in that vertical so we can start hitting the ground running. Use AppBrain and Taboola for lead gen. We have in the past, but we haven't. We're not at the moment. Um, I wish we could because it's huge opportunity. It's just, you know, you can only be good at so many things at one time. Right, Terence. Thanks, Dan. I'm getting my act together and go full steam ahead, mate. Good to see you here. And yeah, you should do. I want to hear more success stories from you. Jason, with real estate agents, would you recommend working towards acquiring the agents themselves? Or would you say talk to the agency owners and grab them like, Keller Williams, Remax, Remax, et cetera. Um, walking towards acquiring the agents themselves. Uh, you, need the, you need the owners of the business. I'm not sure I quite understand that, but you need the owners of the individual businesses. But obviously with someone like Remax or Keller Williams, I think they're big brands in the States. If you can work out a deal with the head office, then you know, you're off to the races, but that's gonna be difficult. Adam. I'm really looking forward to joining your program. Can you drop a link at the end so I can get onto the info and join? There's a link, um, Adam, within the, uh, um, I, I put it in here before. You can just book a call with me to see if it's a good fit. Um, I don't wanna be having people into this program, like no offense, but I wanna be able to get them results. So we need to have a chat beforehand to make sure you, I can get your results. How, dif how do you differentiate yourself in this competitive business space where everyone advertises themselves as being a paid search guru? Um, are you talking to me personally, Alex? I'm not sure. But um, what my program is, is nothing about being a paid search guru or what you're doing is nothing about being any kind of guru. You're someone that supplies leads to a business. None of this other stuff. Companies just want to know about leads. Damien, I'm in the US, logged on. Will there be a replay? Yes, there will be. Mike Jones, how much is your program? We've already answered that one. Paul, do you have a system agreement on how to agree with a client what a quality lead is? Yeah, they will usually have a, um, a convergent percentage they wanna work with. If they don't um, hit that percentage, then we, you need to figure stuff out with them. Do you cross sell leads? Um, uh, I've already answered that one. Um, not really, we only sell the leads once. Oh, I see what you mean. So let's say a lead comes in as debt consolidation, but these people might also want a secured loan for bad credit or something like that. Yes, we do. That's uh, a way to monetize very effectively. Be the golden goose, got it, Dan. Thank you again, Eric. Mike, what's the most effective way of getting the client? Uh, LinkedIn outreach, I think is probably the best. Um, depends on the vertical. Uh, letters, we sent out one of those letters and I kid you not, we probably landed over maybe over 400,000 pounds sterling from one of those letters. Okay, half of that was profit. 
So those letters work, I'm telling you guys. Um, email marketing. So what, what would you recommend? Uh, we don't do much follow-up email marketing. Um, it's something that we'd kind of like to do. But as I said, a lot of our big clients already have their system set up. So we're not required to do it. I'm um, scheduling a call. Good man. Um, did you say this link at genius.xyz? Yes. I should work out an affiliate commission for those guys from those guys. I've been sending a lot of people there. Um, if my understanding is correct, geez, these messages guys, <laughs> then the consumer gives his or her data to your company, not the company who is going to export this data, any GDPR issue. Um, so we've taken massive advice on GDPR, obviously. I thought it was gonna be a big issue for our business when it first came out beginning of this year. And what we do is we put all our GDPR compliance stuff on our privacy policies, and then we link to that privacy policy and say that they have to check the box saying that they've read the privacy policy before they can proceed any further. And we thought that was gonna push our cost per lead up, but it actually pushed it down because people like seeing that transparency and likes dealing with a proper company. So it wasn't an issue. Hope that makes sense. GDPR is a whole nother issue. It doesn't excite me, but um, that's why I paid a lot of money to get a solicitor to help us. Um, Mike, what verticals do you specialize in? Well, that's kind of for me to know. <laughs> Tamor, did I hear you correctly? Your model doesn't work for B2B. Yes, it does work for B2B. Okay. It's more, it needs to be an offer that's a broad for B2B that applies to a lot of business owners in most cases. Jason, good to hear from you, man. The program was great. And I appreciate the advice. Now I've got to get out of here. See you later, mate. Derek, is AOV the client's gross profit? So that's what it, yes, that's their gross profit before overheads. Exactly. And he signed us to this group. You build the landing pages and ads and then send them the leads to the client. Yes, that's what we do. Chad, is a recording being sent out? Yes, we will send it out. Paul, do you have a client onboarding system to make sure you can help them and they can follow up the leads supplied? Um, do you have a client onboarding to make sure you can help them? Um, no, that's kind of up to them really to follow up the leads. Our job's kind of done at that point in time, point of time. All right, thank you for your time. I wish you success. Thank you. Um, can you pit, put the link for the niches in again? Ari, if you're still listening, please do that. Ron, how do you answer the quality of leads question? I've already answered that. Um, okay, I think we're almost at the end here. How are the leads delivered? Uh, we use, um, well, most of the times when you're beginning, you can use, uh, you know, just one-to-one -one basis through uh, webhooks. But when you become a little bit more advanced, you're going to have to find a lead distribution type software. So, for example, um, uh, you know, if you're supplying five or six clients from the one website, then you need to be able to distribute them. And there's, there's you know, pretty simple software out there to use for that. Okay. I've got a few more questions. I think most of them have been answered, guys. Um, Alan's offering a course in coaching. Yes, we do. There's a link um, that has been posted in here multiple times, I think. Um, and you can have a chat with me. As I said, um, people into the program, it's based on your experience and whether we can get your results. So have, have a chat with us and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully this isn't too soon, but I broke a fine art deals thinking of selling insurance leads. Any recommendations? Um, that's an interesting one, Eric. Um, so you're, you broke a fine art deals, insurance leads, insurance leads to who, who are you selling the leads to? And what type of insurance product is it? But insurance is a massive industry, as you know, Mike, can you be more specific with how the leads are delivered? Um, yes, uh, well, they're delivered by a webhook into the uh, a API of, or CRM of the system. But we use a software called GetCake in order to do that, which sits between our landing pages and the client's CRM. And that does all of the fancy stuff for you. There's m many other packages that do that, starting at kind of 50 bucks a month or something like that. It's pretty cheap. Although GetCake is a lot more expensive, but um, there's plenty out there that can do what you can do. 
Um, there are tons of lead generation companies pitching biz owners every day. How does your program help us differentiate our service? So not many people um, offer leads, okay? A lot of people um, offer, you know, retainer contracts and things like that. So um, it, usually, it usually is enough. And there's so many businesses out there that getting clients is not the problem with this program or anything to do with cost per lead, pay per lead. It's not the client. It's generating leads at volume and quality leads. That's the, the trickier bit. Okay, we've got clients coming out our ears. And you'll have the same if you stick with that letter, the LinkedIn outreach and uh, doing it for two months. Um, do I have a lead generation website willing to share? No, I can't share that, sorry. Um, yeah, and are universities hard to reach to sell them leads? Um, we haven't actually done that, but uh, I'm sure there's brokers out there that will buy leads from you. Adam, what other lead distribution platforms are there other than Get Cake you would recommend? Oh, geez, I don't know them off, uh, off the top of my head, Adam. Um, it's not something that I look at that much, to be honest with you. We're very happy with Adam, but um, quick little, a quick um, search, Google search will find something for you. Eric's very transparent on your desire to help your fellow agency reps on it to be connected. Thanks, mate. Very nice um, seeing you here. Um, education is all about private institutions looking for foreign students. Yeah, Jan's right. Big industry. All right, guys. Wow, it is almost exactly an hour. I think I'm going to close up shop here. It's been um, a pleasure talking to you. Good conversion ratio. Completely depends on the industry. You want to be getting 5% um, conversion rate on your ads as a minimum. If that makes sense. So for every 100 clicks, you want to be getting five leads. That's roughly the rule of thumb we have. All right, guys. I tell you what, it's been awesome. Lots of questions. Take some action, guys. Speak to you next time. We're going to be doing this monthly. Yes, I live in Brighton and Hove. Christian, thanks for the great information. All right, guys. I'll catch you later. If I can figure out how to turn this off.